Are you coughing a lot? A terrible trio. Omicron, rampant inflation and supply chain disruption all intertwined and eating into what looked like rosy global economic growth prospects just months ago. We are downgrading growth for this year to 4.4%, mainly driven by downgrades for the US and China. Growth for 2023 is projected to be 3.8%. For many advanced economies and emerging and developing economies, we are upgrading our inflation forecasts for this year. And those price rises are everywhere to see, from food, to gasoline. US President Joe Biden's latest strategy for reducing the highest inflation for 40 years is the creation of a competition council to drive down consumer prices. Our economy shouldn't be about people working for capitalism. It should be about capitalism working for people. And if those price rises are expected to cool off, they're still not likely to be where the Federal Reserve wants them. Inflation here in the US hit 7% in December, the highest level since the early 1980s. And if the Fed aims to bring inflation back to its target rate of around 2% by raising its main interest rate throughout the year, the IMF says inflation for advanced economies will remain nearly double that for the time being. And oil and gas importers now also have to factor how a potential war between Ukraine and Russia one of the world's major energy suppliers would impact prices. 